the scale of the universe is nearly impossible to imagine. Science's best guess at the moment is that our universe is 93 billion light years wide. That's 21 billion times the distance between our sun and the nearest star system, Alpha Centauri. And Alpha Centauri is not close by our standards. It would take a conventional space shuttle 165,000 years to get there. Because of this enormous size and the sheer number of objects in our universe, it has been an ongoing challenge for astrophysicists to fully understand what it all looks like, and especially how it got to where it is today and where it's going in the future. That's where artificial intelligence can apparently help. How? Well, the answer comes in a new study from Carnegie Mellon, Cal, and the University of Tokyo. Scientists there used an AI technique called deep learning to map the structure of the universe. Deep learning is a machine learning method that basically teaches computers how to learn by repetition. In the past, it's been used for modeling isolated astronomical events like supernova and the formation of planets. But this is the first time we've ever tried to use deep learning to map the universe. To do this, the scientists told the system, called D3M, to focus on how gravity affects interactions between objects in the sky. This isn't easy. To accurately simulate how the universe evolves over time, the system must calculate how gravity shifts billions of individual particles and how they interact with each other over billions of years. Researchers first trained D3M by giving it thousands of other simulations done in the past. The system then competed with old methods of universe simulation and handily beat them in every category. Prior to this, the fastest computing method typically took a few minutes to complete one simulation and had an error rate of about 9%. The AI just did the same computation in 30 milliseconds and had an error rate of just 3% but that's not what makes this AI special. It also showed the ability to accurately simulate how a universe would look in the future if it had differing quantities of dark matter. Right now, we think dark matter makes up about 85% of all matter. If there was only ordinary matter in the universe, there likely wouldn't have been enough time for the formation of galaxies that we observe today. The AI was able to simulate how differing levels of dark matter would affect the universe over time despite the researchers not training it to do this. It's absurd, really, because even the scientists who trained the system don't know how it was able to understand dark matter so well. Shirley Ho, an author of the study, said this about it, quote, it's like teaching image recognition software with lots of pictures of cats and dogs, but then it's able to recognize elephants. Nobody knows how it does this, and it's a great mystery to be solved. So, what's this really mean for the future of astrophysics? Well, for one, it's possible that other studies can use AI to figure out the nature of dark matter. It has been nearly a hundred years since an astronomer first used the term dark matter, and it is still inconclusive as to what it actually is. Our best guesses right now is that it is comprised of some sort of undiscovered subatomic particle. One possibility scientists are considering is WIMPs, or weakly interacting massive particles. These would theoretically have 1 to 1,000 times the mass of a proton, and would only interact with each other through the weak force, which is responsible for radioactive decay. WIMPs had long been the favorite candidates for dark matter, though that is now beginning to be debated. Direct detection experiments continue to not find them. Another guess for what dark matter might be are sterile neutrinos. Neutrinos are particles that have nearly no mass and almost always pass through normal matter undetected. Sterile neutrinos, then, are a theoretical counterpart to neutrinos. The Japanese telescope Astro-H is currently searching for them. But we're not done. If you're still interested in what dark matter might be, scientists have a few more exotic guesses there's another theoretical particle that it might be, something called the neutralino, which comes from the theory of supersymmetry. Supersymmetry proposes that each particle in the standard model of particle physics 
has an undiscovered partner. It's possible that dark matter might be a soup of supersymmetric particles, and the easiest to detect could be the neutralino. If this is ever discovered, it means that there are a lot of other partner particles waiting to be found too. Maybe the craziest theory. Some physicists think dark matter might be bleeding into our universe from a mirror universe, so-called mirror matter. It's possible that this is dark protons and neutrons that only interact with us through gravity, and there's nothing we can do to detect it. On second thought, we take that back. There's one more theory that might be even crazier. Dark matter could actually be from another dimension, such as a fourth spatial dimension that we cannot perceive. Known as Kaluza-Klein dark matter, the confirmation of extra-dimensional dark matter would support a string theory, which needs the existence of other dimensions to work. There are other theories like axions and strongly interacting massive particles that are candidates too. Stephen Hawking even proposed that dark matter could be tiny primordial black holes, but a team from the University of Tokyo basically disproved this a few months ago. As you can probably now imagine, it really is interesting that the D3M AI was able to simulate dark matter on its own, because it might be able to figure out something humans have so far missed. We bet that there's a lot of future research that will use this technology to tackle this mystery. Hopefully, humans will be able to understand it. We are a new science channel who plans to cover each week's most interesting academic studies. If you're interested in future videos like this, subscribe. Thanks for the support.